Hello everyone. I like to say hello and hopefully you're having a good day or night regardless of where you are. Hello. Today I want to talk about a very important topic, something that none of us can ever really get away from. It's in our food and with many it's more than we should be consuming. It's sugar. It is the shocking link between uh, sugar and chronic pain. Uh, many of my, uh, my listeners who have been tuning in uh, in my channel uh, for many years uh, noticed that a great amount of my material is directly and indirectly regarding pain. This is obviously one thing that we do. We take in too much sugar and there is a direct correlation between too much sugar and diabetes. Obviously, when the pancreas cannot continue to produce insulin, the lack of insulin causes increased rising of sugar levels, causing high triglycerides and leading to placking, as well as particular heart disease as a result of lack of blood supply to the heart because of this continued high sugar level. So what I briefly want to state, I just wanted to make it a very important point that sugar causes inflammation. Inflammation leads to many, many diseases that goes on in our body. If you look here, understand that the brain uh, has certain uh, chemicals that are secreted, particularly when we're happy, uh, like dopamine and serotonins and, and uh, the natural opiates and all the good things that seem to come across out into our body that makes us feel good when we taste things that are good, when we feel good. Even uh, when we exercise, we get these endorphins and cephalons that are being secreted from the brain. So obviously, when the brain perceives something that it likes, it continues to supply those same type of uh, uh, chemicals that allow us to feel good. So sugar is a major, major uh, addiction. Understand that this does lead to inflammation, inflammation causing all diseases within our body from cardiovascular to pulmonary, neurological, and pain, uh, musculoskeletal, joints. It causes inflammation as well as leads to, you can see arthritic, arthritic problems, arthritis, autoimmune, uh, diabetes 2, Alzheimer's. There is a whole connection that uh, I just primarily wanted to make my point today that if you're having chronic pain and you've been to all kinds of doctors, even if you got disc herniations, degenerative joint disease, spondylosis, uh, regardless of what you're experiencing, herniated disc, bulging disc, compression, whatever it may be, try to start cutting down on your sugars. I will make promises to most of you that you will see tremendous benefits. Uh, sugar uh, really causes the brain to become forgetful. It's been linked to Alzheimer's, been linked to other types of memory conditions. You may feel, uh, many of us say, you know, oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, I just couldn't remember. That can be all related to high sugar because it is obviously something that is too, uh, causing inflammatory changes to the body and leading to dis-ease or disease. Uh, understand that if you look here, uh, there are many things that we eat from the simple sugars to the simple carbohydrates, to the pastries, to the candies, and these are high glycemic sugars. So to end the program, I just wanted to go over uh, a little bit about the uh, glycemic index to show you the different types of sugars. The ones that are high glycemic are the ones that give, give you that quick spike of sugar levels that rise really quick, that's, that gets the insulin levels from the pancreas to secrete at high, uh, high levels. Rather than secreting insulin slowly, you don't want that spike because there are a lot of negative effects from that. Uh, now, to me, one of the greatest sugars is raw sugars. I love the honeys. And again, whatever sugars you take in, realize you need to modify it. When you modify your sugars and you uh, do it smartly, uh, you're not going to get those significant problems. So I ask you to refer back to this uh, chart 
look back at the chart to see what you're taking in. Um, I wanted to bring out to everyone out there that there are many hidden sugars throughout our foods. So be very careful with the type of sugars that you're eating. Uh, for example, the white sugars, the refined sugars, the sodas, the juices, uh, the candies, um, all those kind of things have very high glycemic indexes. But the mission to today is to get you to understand to start lowering the amount of sugar intake. Not only is it going to preserve your health, prevent type 2 diabetes, and allow you to have more energy, but you're not going to have those types of uh, uh, conditions where you eat and all of a sudden you just want to sleep from that rapid spike, that rapid insulin spike, and it starts to fall real quick uh, when that insulin secretes. But as you continue to do that, you're, you eventually can become uh, insulin uh, resistant, which can start affecting the assimilation of sugars into the cells. Uh, one of the greatest things that you can do, particularly if you are eating sugars, is exercise. Exercise, uh, building uh, light muscle, uh, doing things helps metabolizing of sugar without the use of insulin. So however you can make your body work better, you're going to feel better. You're going to have a lot less pain, a lot less problems, a lot less inflammation. But remember, sugar is directly tied into inflammation. Inflammation is tied into pain. So my chronic pain sufferers, I ask you to cut the sugar down. It will be a blessing for you. You'll thank me later. Leave your comments below. Uh, you can reach me at Motivational Doc on Facebook. Uh, you can like that page as well. Uh, but I ask everyone out there, everyone out there, to uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed at this time, uh, because of the fact we'll continue to give you cutting edge information, uh, hundreds of self help uh, videos you can see on my channel as we'll continue to give you live updates in the future. Uh, nutrition, musculoskeletal problems, and overall health to keep you healthy, to keep you happy, to keep you strong, and to keep you living a long and happy life. I just want to say uh, thank you for uh, being here, and I wish you, your families, uh, lots of love, lots of good health, and we'll catch up with you real, real soon now. Bye-bye now.